Hey everybody, Ben here with Fly Plugins, and in today's tutorial I want to show you how to add secured and non-secured video using S3 Media Maestro to a post or a page. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. And first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and create a new post. And we'll go ahead and enter a title. So now we want to add in the short code. Now the short code for video has many, many options. And so what we've done is we've included this really cool little short code creator button here. Now when you click this button, you're going to have various options. You're going to have uh, option for S3 video, S3 audio, which means that's secured video and secured audio because that's going to be coming directly from Amazon S3. Then you have the other two options, which is non S3 video and non S3 audio. Since this video is focusing on video, we're going to go ahead and begin with S3 video, which is the secured video. Now the first, very first option here is to add in the S3 file URL. All you need to specify here is the file name. So in my case, I already know I have a file up on Amazon S3. Um, if you, uh, if you want to specify a specific bucket for this particular video, you, you can do that here. Um, you can also specify an S3 expiry time here that you wish to uh, uh, implement with this video. Uh, and if you remember, you, you already have a default setting. Uh, in the settings area of S3 Media Maestro. So you don't have to specify it again, um, but if you'd like to do a different time, uh, this time will take precedence over the default setting. And if you wanted to access, say, a different uh, S3 account that's configured in the S3 Media Maestro settings area, uh, you can specify that access key and secret key here. Now, if you'll notice, we've got a second tab at the top here, player options. And this gives us the configuration for the actual video player. Now, if you remember correctly, we had default setting of 640 by 360 uh, in the S3 Media Maestro settings page. If you left both of these blank, you would actually get the default setting. So if you wanted a smaller dimension, you could actually add in a smaller dimension. Uh, this setting does take precedence over the default settings. And it just so happens that I have a splash image that I'm going to go ahead and add in here. And then you've got some other settings down here. You've got autoplay, loop back, always hide powered by link, and also make responsive. I'll start with autoplay. Autoplay automatically plays the video upon page load. Now, sometimes this is uh, a good idea if, if you want it to automatically play. Uh, however, uh, just beware if you have multiple videos on the same page, they're all going to try to play simultaneously, so this may not be a good option for that. Loop back will actually take uh, the video. Uh, back to the beginning once it reaches the end and, and and continue playing it in a loop. The always hide powered by link. Now again, this will override the default setting in, in the S3 Media Maestro settings page, which we specified in the previous video. And the make responsive, uh, this is actually uh, going to go ahead and make your video player fluid. So if you check that, you'll notice the height and width actually go away and it will automatically be configured to make the video responsive so that when the, sh the page shrinks, the video shrinks along with it. Then you have uh, three options for a skin. You've got the default, the TED Talks, and the Windows Media Player, which comes uh, standard default with uh, Media Elements JS Player. Next, we have the volume. You can actually specify uh, how loud you want the volume to be. Uh, so if you, if you don't want it to uh, blur out immediately, you can click uh, a default value for the volume. And the last thing here is the auto load. Now auto load is uh, actually a good thing. However, if you have a very, very long video or large file video, this may not be a good option for you. You may want to select none in those instances. Also, if you have multiple videos on one page, you also may want to select none so that all the videos don't attempt to pre-cache before, before someone actually hits play. Um, if it's a relatively, you know, not very big video, um, go ahead and leave auto and uh, that's actually the default setting and uh, everything should work out just fine. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and just say insert player. And you'll notice you've got a really nice short code in here. Then you can go ahead and publish your post and we can view what we have. And you'll notice I've got my really cool splash screen that I added. Another thing to take note of, if you remember, I actually made the um, 
uh, the video uh, responsive, so it should be fluid. So if I shrink the page, you'll notice that the video shrinks along with it. And lastly, if we play the video, it should play just fine. Now what I'd like to do is go back and edit this post. And what I want to do is I want to demonstrate how to add a non-secured video. It's a little bit different, but we can actually add it onto the same page here. The process is very similar. However, I want to go ahead and just show you step by step on how to do this. So for instance, if I wanted to add a video to my WordPress site, typically you'd go to add media and you'd want to go ahead and drop a file in here, a video file. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you'll notice the video file uploaded uh, perfectly fine. And on the lower right hand corner, if I say uh, link to media file, I should get a nice URL here, which we're going to go ahead and put on our clipboard. And we're going to go ahead and close the window. Now we're going to go ahead and come back to our post area and we're going to add audio video player. And you'll notice here um, I can do a non S3 video. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now for this file URL, you want to specify the entire URL. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in there. And then we're going to go look at the player options. And on the player options, we're going to go ahead and specify uh, a player width of 300 and a player height of 200. And we're not going to add a splash screen this time. And we're actually going to go ahead and um, say autoplay. We're going to change our skin to TED Talks and we're going to go ahead and insert that player. And we're going to say update. And we're going to view our post. You'll notice the video immediately started playing uh, and you'll notice that the skin is also uh, different. Now this video is not secured. This video, however, is secured. This video is being hosted directly from my WordPress website and this video is being hosted from Amazon Web Services. So now I want to show you one last scenario. We're going to go back to edit our post. And this time we're going to go ahead and add in a YouTube video. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to actually go ahead and open up a new tab here and I'm going to go directly to a YouTube video here that we have. And what I want to just show you is all you need to do is grab the URL for the video And then we're going to come back over to our post here. We're going to add audio video player. And this time we're also going to select non S3 video. We cannot protect uh, YouTube videos. Uh, we don't have an API for that. So uh, it has to be inserted as a non S3 video. And again, you can specify the player settings here. Uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and just take the default of 640 by 360 this time. Um, and we're actually just going to go ahead and insert that as is. And so now we've got our YouTube video, which will show up under the uh, other two videos that we have on that page. We're going to update our post. And now we're going to go view our post. So again, the second video started playing uh, uh, by itself. And so you'll notice that the uh, video for YouTube shows up and it plays just fine. Um, so basically, that's all there is to inserting video uh, in one of two ways, in a secured format or a non-secured format. We also have the ability to add in YouTube videos. So that concludes this video tutorial on how to add video with S3 Media Maestro.